This is actually in a person's kitchen, and as you can see, there are just a couple of thousand cockroaches hiding around this cabinet here, but in reality, they're usually not in the open like this. Usually they're more hiding in like the dark cracks at the back of the cabinets. Look, 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 right there behind that cabinet. See those little antennas sticking out? Those little antennas give away their location sometimes. These are German cockroaches and they're hiding behind this cabinet, behind this refrigerator. You can have an infestation like this behind your cabinets and never even know about it. No. diarrhea so cheers if I chew the maggots shouldn't they die do you like it yeah, I love it it's illegal in Sardinia it's illegal everywhere wrangling up that firewood buddy Halloween is safe guys look what I found when I get there, it was actually a pest species that I have never seen in my four years in the pest control industry. What you're seeing here is just a medium size bald face hornet nest. We were actually there earlier that day and sprayed it to eliminate some of the active members of this nest. It literally just froze this nest in time. So whenever we look at the individual cells inside this nest, we can see all life stages of the bald face hornet life cycle. You can see the eggs, you can see larva, and check out this bald face hornet. It was nearly completely developed. It was almost ready to hatch. You can even see its eyes, you can see its legs had already developed. Sitting on the nest next to it here is the full grown hornet. So all of the worker yellow jackets that are out foraging for like food and stuff are now trying to get back to the nest and I just foamed it and they have nowhere to get back inside so they are very confused right now. Alrighty, I got one here. Um, they're pretty small. They're much smaller than other wasp species. Let me know what species you guys think it is and I will research it and find out as well. Oh, it's even worse. The Euro trash. Right here we have a brown recluse spider, also called a fiddleback spider. You can see because it has that fiddle shape right on its middle thorax there. It was inside of this rodent bait station. Right there, that is when it molts and leaves its dead skin behind. There's another molt right there. They do that as they grow, so this guy's definitely been growing. All those dead bugs in there, that is what it's been eating. Even that big old beetle over there, it's eating that beetle. But as you can see, these guys do not move very much. That's one of the reasons why they're such a big problem, is they're very slow moving insects. So even when we do go to spray them, they often don't get in touch with the chemical 